Did you find him? No, he disappeared. Who was he? I have no idea. What does he want? What is he after? <sighs> he has pictures of us in bed. But, but why? What's he going to do with them? God only knows, Alex. <sighs> Blackmail? No, I don't think so. I don't get it. I don't either, but I don't think it has anything to do with blackmail. Then what? Time will tell, unless I do something quick. Rich, I have no idea what you're talking about. What I'm talking about is a father-in-law-to-be who would like to see me fry. You're joking. Your father-in-law did that? Yeah. It's a very distinct possibility. I called you, what, an hour ago? Did you tell anyone you were coming here? No. Then trust me, nobody knows. Our photographer friend got the wrong room. Alex, I sure hope you're right. I always said you had delusions of grandeur. People following you around with cameras, really. Say, weren't we in the middle of something when that wayward photographer interrupted? You're incredible. Insatiable's the word, love, when it comes to you. The mood, as they say, my dear, is gone. Bet I could get it back. Yeah, I bet you could. Then what do you say we sneak upstairs, do it right this time? The way we used to, Rich. <sighs> you must think I'm terribly vain, Thorn. Well, you can afford to be. Margot said that I wouldn't be able to take my eyes off it. She was right. Well, wear it, home. Stop some traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe the fantasy I was just having standing here. On a dress like that, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Ridge and me. On our wedding night, I guess I don't have to wait much longer. Just a few more days. Hey, and then we'll have the same last name. Sorry, I... <laughs> I can't take my eyes off the dress either. It's gonna be so nice having a brother-in-law like you. Well, I guess my fiancé isn't coming back here tonight. No, I... I suppose not. I better get out of this dress and go home. I'll drive you. Oh, that isn't necessary. No arguments. Go get changed. Yes, sir. Where are you, Ridge? What are you up to tonight? The Bold and the Beautiful. This portion sponsored by Planters Honey Roasted Nuts. Mr. Peanut does it again.
to a very nice day. And a lovely evening. I will drink to that. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, it's small, but functional. Small, but functional? Do you know who designed this place? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, it's quite lovely. You did a wonderful job with it. <laughs> well, that's better. <laughs> now come and sit down. I was just looking at your artwork over there. You know, it suddenly occurred to me that I don't know very much about you at all. I'll handle a few questions. Mm -hmm. well, where did you get those beautiful eyes? My stepfather. I'm sorry I asked. Those beautiful lips? Definitely mother's. <laughs> so, what is it? And uh, what about you and Ridge Forrester? Can you answer me questions about that? You know I can't. Margo, what has he done to you? All I can tell you is that your daughter is making a mistake. I'm not asking for Caroline. I've resolved that. I've even called off the private investigator. I told you that. Look, Caroline may be starry-eyed, She's smart. She knows what she wants. And she loves this man. And from what she says, this man loves her, too. What did she tell you to convince you of that? He's treating her like a gentleman, Margot. He hasn't laid a hand on her. <sighs> That's because she won't let him. That wouldn't stop most men. Bill, I... You don't believe that Rich Forrester is right for your daughter. I, I know you don't. You're just selling yourself. I can tell you for a fact the man is... All right, stop it. Now, if you have anything more to say about him, I want it substantiated. What, what has he ever done to you, Margot? Just tell me. Caroline is going to be married in a few days. And she's marrying the son of a very fine man. I'm not gonna have her day ruined with a lot of suspicion and innuendo. I would rather you wouldn't cast any more aspersions on the name of Ridge Forrester. Is that understood? Yes, it's understood, Bill. Completely. I think I better go home. I think we better go back to my room. No, Alex. When will I see you again? You'll be here in town for a while? Not a long while. I'll keep that in mind. Good night, Alex. Have been very important. Come on in. This place is beautiful. Thank you. Would you like some coffee? Great. Okay. Black, please. Coming right up. Mother. Yeah, is is Ridge around? Has he been home at all tonight? So. No, I, uh, I'm just looking for him. I'll see you later. That was quick. Well, Dad left the coffee machine on. Oh, this stuff's been on all day. Um, here's looking at you. Not for long, I'm afraid. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So is Kristen as crazy as you are? Well, I never thought of myself as crazy. 
Oh, come on, with that sense of humor? Well, that's not my strongest attribute, I guess. What is? Well, I'd rather you told me. I don't think I know you well enough yet, Thorne. Well, when you do, tell me. I'll do that. And now... Who are you calling? Ridge. He should be home by now. Uh, no, he isn't. I, uh, confession. I called home while you were in the kitchen. And Ridge is still out. Where? Some, some sort of business meeting. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to that. At least I've got the next best thing. Oh, Thorne, look at it. The City of Angels. Ever wonder why I was given that name? I don't anymore. <laughs> I should... I should get home. But you haven't finished your coffee. Oh, I caught stuff coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, next time I'll do it justice. Sure. Hey, thank you. As they say, it was truly my pleasure. I'll see myself out. Here I was feeling sorry for you in here working. Oh, Mom to the rescue again. It's your favorite, ham and cheese. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Boy, they're really playing up this big wedding. Then it figures. Beautiful girl and a handsome rich guy with a famous old man. I wonder what it must be like having a father like Eric Forrester. This guy, Eric Forrester, must be something else. Why do you say that? He's done things, Mom. Accomplished a lot. And he's raised a family. My old man couldn't even do that. God, how I resent that man. Please, Storm, don't say that. How can I not say it? I mean, forget about me. Look at you, the girls. The hours you put in at that catering place. My sister's working the way they do. Barely keeping our heads above water. Hell yes, it eats away at me. The guy left you, Mom. He left you with a mess. A mess of kids and a mess of bills. And it isn't fair. I can only assume somehow your father wasn't responsible. We know what it was. He couldn't deal with failure. And you don't see the tragedy in that? Tragedy, sure, but you don't take off, leave your wife and four kids. God, it scares me. It really does. That I might be my father's son. Honey, don't say that. You are so different from your father. God, I hope so. I find myself consciously trying to be different. How do we get into this? All right. The big wedding.
You know who's really into this wedding, don't you? Yeah. Brooke. Think she'll marry Dave? I don't think even she knows, though. I think she loves him. What about my one and only son? What about him? Anyone special I should know about? Not yet. Well, how about someone semi-special? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you want another daughter in the family? Only when you're ready. Believe me. When I am, you'll be the first to know. I'm sorry if I got all riled up about the old man. I'm sorry too, Storm. Yeah. I love you, Mom. See you in the morning. Where have you been, Ridge? I didn't see you over there. What's up? I asked you a question. Where in the hell have you been? What's the problem, Thorne? You know what the problem is. No, I don't think I do. Where were you tonight, Ridge? Why do you want to know? Caroline came by the office to see you. She wondered where you were. I had an appointment. You implied to me that you were seeing her. Look, why are you getting on my case? Because that woman loves you. She deserves a lot better than she got tonight. I'm sorry. For what? I should have been there. And why weren't you? Thorne, I don't want to be questioned. I blew it. I admit it. I'm going to bed. Who is she? was a mistake, a stupid mistake. Who, Rich? I'm not going to listen to any more of your questions. Look, I made a mistake. I learned a lesson. It's over. What lesson? How to be faithful by having one last fling? Seems to me you've been doing that one most of your life. I don't have to listen to this. She's the best, not almost the best the very best. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit and watch you turn her into one of your doormats. You don't deserve a Ridge. She's too good for you. You hurt her. And I swear you'll answer to me. Where were you tonight? Uh, just out. Hmm. See, you weren't. Oh, the coffee cups. By the way, you did not turn the machine off today. Well, I hope that you made your fiance a fresh pot of coffee. No, I didn't. Well, you must be okay to put up with that. Actually, it wasn't my fiance that was here. Hmm. Who? His brother Thorne. Ridge had a business meeting tonight. Oh. The man works late. Sounding better and better every day, huh, Dad? I guess he's all right. He's more than all right. I know, I know. <laughs> Let's just not overstate it. 
Someday you two are going to be close, very close. Maybe. I guess I'm just having a difficult time thinking that my baby's going to leave me. Well, would you settle for a granddaughter? Oh, it uh, might be an interesting trade-off. I told you there were perks to this marriage business. <laughs> oh, by the way, you got a telephone call, a man named Conway Weston. I see. Who is he? Well, I was going to use him for something. It's, it's unimportant now. Oh. Well, anyway, he said he wanted you to call him back. Well, that's not necessary. I left a message on his machine. And he probably hasn't checked it yet. Join us tomorrow for the bold and the beautiful.